To find the electron configuration for oxygen, we'll first look at the periodic table to find the number of electrons. We can do that by looking at the atomic number. That's the number that can be found above the element symbol on the periodic table. The atomic number equals the number of protons, but it also equals the number of electrons. And once we have the number of electrons, we can write the electron configuration for oxygen. So we'll use the chart on the right to figure out the configuration. We'll start in the first row, and as we go down, we have 1s. S orbitals can hold up to two electrons, so we'll put a 2 after the 1s. We'll go down the next row. We have the 2s. We'll put 2 there as well, and we've used four electrons so far, so we're halfway there. We'll go down the next row, and we have the 2p. And in the 2p, we have up to six electrons, but we only need four to complete the notation for oxygen. So we'll just put a four after the 2p. So that's the electron configuration for oxygen. And if you add those numbers up, two plus two plus four, you'll get eight, which is the number of electrons for oxygen. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for oxygen. Thanks for watching.